Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm gonna take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? Sweet, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said Hello? catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a yeah, bad so idea because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world is built out of yeah, bad ideas, my friend. All right. Come on. All right. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people. We're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's gonna narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you! Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do! I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night! Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! We told you what the fuck was us! <laughs> Shit! Michael! Hey, <laughs> fucking Michael! <laughs> Shit! Get the money! Me and my brother are watching the kids! Yeah, look at me! Yeah, like I said, man, everything's a little fuzzy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure, sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. Yo, what's up? <laughs> How are you? Ooh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In the city with a rich, mindless crowd, is something poor and mindless. Another club catering to the gay and decadent crowd. With the gay and decadent crowd, suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking... I know. Let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my adequacies with their money because after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. it sounds pretty usual. <laughs> Thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A uh, what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until oh. 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids. His only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison, shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? 
Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open, man. It's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an old widow policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. Yeah, good luck. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. Alright, guys, what's what's going on everybody? Thanks for making another video. Today we are playing GTA for the Ballad of Gate Tony. I have a whole playlist of Nico's perspective. That was a big, great story. Y'all guys killed it with the likes, the views, the support. Don't tell me you've been running a skip job. 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you're going on as a partner just to share the blame with the IRS. Here. That's what you say, Pete. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe when it's in that robbery, made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? But yeah, thank you for the overwhelming support on the previous series. It was a long series, 30 something episodes, 30, 32. But it was a great series. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, you guys killed it, so let's see what, how the Ballad Gate Tony goes. It's gonna be short, because the game is short, but hopefully you guys killed it. I will do a bonus episode where I go against the cops, says Nico, if y'all want. Troy, get over here. A very important client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. Hey, <laughs> you know me, Tom. Don't ask, don't tell. Mel Deering Gray. Hey, this is serious. Paranoid, no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk blah, to you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. Calculating route. So, uh, yeah. Also, go check out my Chick-fil-A video. I finally did a Chick-fil-A video. You'll be getting anxious. Nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks. We're the ones who needed a bailout. No more that shit left, B. And, uh, yeah, let's begin. I gotta make some calls. You work the floor. <laughs> Alright, this is the Mason at 9 Club. I'm trying to impress the ladies by dancing. You get successfully and you'll get something good out of it, which I can't show on YouTube. I can get some shots at the bar. I can go upstairs to the VIP area and take part in drinking games.
Okay, yep, here it comes. Nope. I'm gonna have to censor that out. I'm sorry. Alright. I am not gonna I am not gonna not gonna Yeah, I know. Why you laying your hands on me like that, man? Luis is my boy! Luis is his boy! Half the people innocent, Luis is their boy. You girls all say they're fucking him. I don't care if you're his damn mother. You ain't coming in. Not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. And you're looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker. Yeah! Yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back off, pal. Back up! Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, man. Eh? No mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Better for you. Ah. Nice. Shut up. Okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that. Okay? You don't pay for shit in here. Okay? You just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me address like that. Huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> Do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right. So take some time off. The girl's neck will use a night off, too. We are. Bye-bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. Stop. What the freak? That's over your bullshit. You, you gonna take us back to the heist or what? travel to the future give the take away uh, we're gonna go to future me and we're gonna you know now you know the synopsis at the beginning of the story and now we're gonna go there uh so future me take it away all right so you heard from past me welcome to the future now we're gonna pretty much go do some more missions You always taking care of the down and outs. Hey. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, but you gotta let him into the house. Aw, oh, man. 
These are my boys, baby, just like you. <laughs> I watched them grow up. Yeah, well, apparently your boys and your real son got some work to do. So, ladies, we got a rope. Uh, Come on, let's go. Mrs. L, you're still the best cook I know. Here you go, mommy. Take this, okay? Take care. I gotta go. Take okay? care. You take care, son. Dealing drugs, people getting killed, nightclubs. You take care. Go to school. We go somewhere. It's not too late, my baby. I mean, but you got it all wrong. I mean, it's not like that anymore. You know, I, I know good people, I know bad people, you know, but I know the difference. I mean, I know I made mistakes, but things are better now. I mean, how many times we got to go over this? If things are better now, then why are you always like this? Right, but you take the money, right? You take the fucking money every time. Get out of my house. All what right. choice do I have? I lost my job. Yeah, well, call one of the other kids, the one you ain't ashamed of. Chill out, bro. All right, let's go. Going out to Bohan, L. Got something coming up to humble for us. I don't, one, I don't trust myself driving, and two, I am using cheats once again. Because it's. Oh, yeah, there you go. But, bro, she rides me too hard, man. Hanging downtown made you forget who you is, L. What you mean? I mean, you a fucking Dominican. All Dominican mamas ride their e holes like that. Think me and Rika don't get shit too? <laughs> Damn right. Rika's mama wants his ass to go to college someday. Who couldn't even spell SAT, let alone GED? I doubt he can even spell SAT. I love how the cars are like hard rocks. Your sister taught me that. Ha ha. I believe it, bro. She was always a save the world, special needs helping type girl. Special needs to jump on my dick. Let's earn some money. They're bringing the stuff in off that boat. We're gonna bring it up here to get in these cars. And all we gotta do is get them back to the heights. Alright. Oh, yeah, be fine. This looks like a serious amount of shit coming. You think we'd be in for some serious time if 5 0 catches with this? Yeah, bro. Or a serious amount of hate if some stick up guys hear what's going down.
around here. Do one more mission. Yeah, we're gonna do one more mission and keep it there. And then we're gonna end it there. At the All right, here we go. Chinese takeout. Not the full time. Hey man. Hey bro. Don't in? make you happy. Is, is there anything else my team can do for you? No, we do events, parties, <laughs> you know, anything you like. Just, just give it a think. All right, bye-bye. What a dick. What's up, T? Oh, I don't want to think about what's up. Come on, there's something I got to take care of. Of course, of course. 
uh, my business partner, Mr. Lopez. Yusuf Amir, what is up, homie? Not much. <laughs> hey, you guys want to join us maybe for a, a bit of this or a bit of that? Uh, we'd love to, but we gotta go deal with some business. Okay, good. Good seeing you. Yeah. Take care, huh? Oh, 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 oh. And uh, if you ever want to talk about franchising this place, huh? just give me a call. We will. We absolutely will. Aye. <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the mood, baby. Ya wallahi. Ha, ha. Wallahi. Ha. Head down to Dragonheart in Chinatown. All right, let's go. Take this gun, Luis. Just in case. Just in case? Oh, this is some sci-fi shit. I know a guy who gave me a deal. What can I say? It helps to be prepared. Tony, man. We're going to Chinatown? Really? What? We got business. Tony, you know what you like on the MSG. Those fucking headaches. You won't leave the house. Or for a fucking air I need your beer. Oh, I'm glad you care. It ain't that I care. It's that I can't take the morning. Well, when I had it, I'm a dim sum. Rocco's asked to talk to someone. We're at the window pretending to be a gangster. Now I wish we were getting take up. Hey, we're in debt to the kid and his uncle, and he's got the ear of one of the most powerful families in the city. We gotta at least pretend to play ball. You have a run. Right. In that case, I guess my brother is in good hands. You take care of that prick. It seems the definition of family loyalty differs in your country. The marketplace has a value for everything, and I guess that a disloyal Jew bastard ain't worth shit to me. Brother or no brother. Such are the heady joys of consumer capitalism. A system that's flaws are becoming increasingly evident. Ah, <laughs> that's right, I forgot. You little yellow people are commies too, huh? Both sides of the fence. You know, I grew up watching your kind getting killed on the TV. Hell of a show. I'm sure, but perhaps the show wasn't as much fun as the reality of that wall. Hmm, perhaps not. Now I bid you farewell, sir, and don't do all that smack at once. On second thought, you know, go ahead, Duke. Boo. I'm watching you, greaseball fuck. I apologize for our associate's uncouth manner. I can only say that our partnership with him is one of necessity, not foolish. Please, you must be the famous Tony Prince. Ah, notorious, maybe. Is Lopez my business partner? Lossi has led me to expect much from this meeting. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. Rocco has a tendency to promise more than he can deliver. So that must have been weaned too early. They are not weaned at all. As you can see, we are already behind schedule on this project. We need you to... How do I put this? To uh, clear things with the planning department and to ease some licensing troubles. Hey, look, we're not lawyers, okay? We want nightclubs. Pretty badly, too. We got enough trouble keeping the licenses on our own clubs, okay? We don't do licenses. Before I was being polite, Mr. Lopez, but I do not have to be. Mr. Pelosi made it clear that you are not in a position to choose who you help and who you do not. Yeah, well, that kid's got a big mouth, okay? And he ain't in no position to be writing checks for us, okay? We are not going to be able to help, period. Let's go, to. Sorry to waste your time, Mr. Um... You are not going anywhere until we have an arrangement. No, I'm afraid we are. There is no arrangement. You got a problem? Take it up with your boy Rocco. <laughs> you are not negotiating column inches and bar tabs, you insolent fuck! We are serious people! <laughs> really? Mm. Yeah, really! <laughs> what is wrong with you? I was supposed to be the irrational idiot with the anger issues. I got anger issues. Okay, the guy threatens to shoot me because I can't arrange the liquor license for him. Please, give me a break, T. Oh, God. Oh, They're coming for us! They heard that shot! They're fucking coming! 
Shoddy. You shot him and he's still alive. Like, that makes no sense. Look, see, watch this. Makes no sense. Shots only, guys. Can you check it out? Okay, man. Only because I respect you. Me. Ah! Oh! Please! Shit! Did you drive me to the apartment? I need to lie down. Marco's big. 
big mouth nearly got us killed. Fuck! When I get a hold of him, you won't do anything, Lou. You'll play it nice. We can use this if we're smart. We were dumb enough to walk into the death trap for the kid. I doubt we're gonna pull brains out of our asses now. You gonna call Rocco then? <laughs> Alright, you guys, we're going to end that here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you're ready to see more, uh, more of Luis and his story, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video real soon. Peace.